What's up, everybody? Um, if you paid attention to the last few videos I did with the the updates for Comet Pan Stars, you'll see that I was using Stellarium to show the comet and its position in the sky during a given time. Well, you can do this too by downloading Stellarium. It's a free program. However, I forgot to mention to you guys that um, when you first download Stellarium, uh, comets and asteroids and uh, small solar system bodies like that are not included with the initial download. You have to go and retrieve that data yourself, which I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Very easy. It only takes a couple of minutes. You do it straight from Stellarium itself. Um, to get started, bring up Stellarium. Press F2 to bring up the uh, configuration page. And what we're concerned with is plugins. So click on plugins. And on the left side, you'll have a list of different uh, plugins that you have on the program. Uh, select Solar System Editor, which is the one that's already highlighted here. And uh, it'll come up here in this box. At the bottom, at Options, it says uh, Load at Startup, and it says Configure. Go ahead and click Load at Startup, so when you boot up Stellarium, all your information will already be there. And then go to Configure. And this will bring you up the Solar System Objects page. Um, and if you look right here under Solar System Objects, this is basically a list of all the objects in the solar system that's uh, in the Solarium program. Um, and to add more, you want to go down here where it says Add New Solar System Objects. Um, there's a button that says Import Orbital Elements in MPC Format. The MPC is a uh, minor planet center, uh, which keeps track of uh, different types of um, solar system bodies like uh, comets and asteroids and that type of stuff. So you uh, click on that, and it'll bring you to the import data page. And uh, under lists, where it says select the type, you want to go for comets. And of course, you can go back and do this for asteroid too if you want. But go to comets, and there where it says select the source, uh, make sure uh, download a list of objects from the internet is selected. And then here at the drop down box, where it says select the source from the list, highlight NPC's list of observable comets, and click that. And then at the bottom, click Get Orbital Elements. And that will bring you to this page, the import data. Now this basically is giving you a list of all the comments that is uh, under the MPC library. Now if you want to, you can go through this long list and click on the particular comments that you want to import. Or if you want to put all of them in, go right here where it says Mark All. Click that, it will highlight everything for you. And at the very bottom it says Add Objects. You just click that, and boom, you're done. That's all it is to it. And when you go back out, all that information will be in Stellarium for you. And here's another little tip for you. Um, when you actually go on to look for a comet, let's say you want to look for pan stars, you go over to your search window, click that, when you start typing in the comments name, you have to be specific. You can't just type in pan stars and expect the program to find it for you because it won't. It'll say look up, not found. You have to go by the scientific name, which is C slash 2011 L4. And you see as I type in the name, it automatically finds what, uh, what comment we're looking for. And you hit search. Boom. There you go. You've located your comet. Then, of course, up here in the corner, it gives you all the information, the magnitude, which usually for Stellarium, I don't think the magnitude is quite, uh, I don't know, maybe it could be uh, quite um, realistic or accurate, because there's really no way for a program to tell you what a comet's going to do. That's just not the case, because comets do what they want to do. But, um, it will also tell you the uh, the celestial coordinates and right ascension and declination. Now, if you were listening to my last update, I also showed you how to uh, get the orbital elements um, by using the uh, Jet Propulsion Laboratory's Horizons Inephorus generator. Now, I have not um, really compared the two, the Inephorus data from Horizons 
and the uh, the coordinates from Stellarium to, to tell you which one's more accurate. Um, because you can kind of tweak the generator on horizons uh, to fit pretty much your exact observing location, that might turn out to be a little bit more um, accurate. But I have not done any comparisons. Maybe I'll try that tomorrow and see what happens and find out which one's more accurate. But um, I have used the coordinates from Stellarium before to find another comet. Um, and it actually did pretty well. It didn't put the comet in directly the center of the eyepiece, but it was in the field of view. So that's pretty good. So well, that's pretty much uh, all this video is going to be for, just to show you how to get these, uh, these comets loaded into Stellarium so you can find them. But I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and clear skies.